Hello and welcome back to JStudio where today we are going to be doing a quick video on temperature tuning. The last video was on retraction tuning and remember that it took four models and uh, four models and some some pretty interesting interpolation to get to what we decided was our optimum retraction settings for the ER20 which were in at least this ER20 uh, which were four millimeters of retraction at 45 millimeters per second. So now that we have that, we can go forward and do temperature tuning. Um, and temperature tuning uh, is going to be a little bit more straightforward, I think. Um, and But the flip side is, is that you're going to need to do temperature tuning every time you change filament. Every filament's different. It's going to react differently to different hot end temperatures. Um, so you're going to, you know, a quick, a quick temperature tower, and these take, what, about 35 minutes or so to print. Um, is going to really help you dial in your filament uh, to uh, be able to do things without supports like bridging and constructing good overhangs, etc., uh, without having all the messiness that comes with supports, uh, or unneeded supports anyway, um, once you actually have to do post-processing on your models. So getting temperature in the right ballpark is going to be important. Again, we're on Teaching Tech's website, teachingtechyt.com github.io um, and we're following uh, we're basically following the uh, green brick road in this case uh, through the different steps of calibrating your printer so in this case we are now at temperature tuning um, and it, having done re retraction tuning and again as before we're going to generate a g-code uh, we're going to print and then we're going to evaluate that print um, and go from there so again as always um, you're, you've got your block at the top of the G-code generator here to add additional start G-code. As I say every video pretty much, I just cut and paste um, my G start G-code from Cura uh, in here to ensure that the printer does that prime line at the front and gets everything ready to go, um, etc. Um, you may have noticed on each of these screenshots that I also have an M221 line in there, uh, which says M221 S110. What that's doing is telling, uh, well, that's, this G-code will tell the printer to extrude at 110% of what's called for. Remember that we've, from the very beginning, we noted that there was a slight under-extrusion uh, uh, issue happening. Or not issue, this is just the, this printer slightly under-extrudes uh, on the finished product in the models. So uh, since I'm not using my slicer profile for these G-codes, they're being generated by the site. I add an M221 command in there to give it a little bit more filament for what we're doing. All right, um, again, as before, your bed dimensions 250 by 220. Uh, bed temperature, I put 65 because I want it to adhere really well. Usually on most prints, I would put 60 just for normal models. Um, cooling fan, I want the cooling fan, and unlike the retraction video, I want the cooling fan to be at 100% for all the bridging and things that we're doing uh, to get an idea of how that looks. Uh, so uh, I have it at, on at 100% after a particular layer. And then, um, and then remember uh, that we just dialed in retraction, so we enter our retraction of 4 and retraction speed of 45 uh, right in this, uh, in this our, uh, dialog right here. And then we're down to our variables that we're testing. And as you can see, what I wanted to test was everything from about 200 degrees up to 220 degrees uh, for this particular filament. Uh, lots of PLA is going to land between 210 and 215, uh, so this gives me uh, a chance to look at all of that. Uh, this fill, or this, uh, it'll also ask you to, to enter a first layer temperature in case you need a different layer for adhesion. And this is because often you might test as low as 190 or 185 on your, a line, on your first variable here. That may be difficult for your adhesion, so they give you the option here, or Teaching Tech gives you the option of adding a first layer uh, temperature. I put it at 230 for this one. Uh, it makes it easy to adhere, but then it drops down to 200 uh, for the first uh, for the first bridge, or excuse me, the first uh, uh, layer of the print, which we, we would call A, and it does five different temperature layers. So what was our result? Um, let me pull the camera up, and we'll take a look at the result of this particular print. Um, the for me uh, I you know even though there's a little bit of a blob underneath the 210 degree level which is the third from the top um, I found it very interesting I find it interesting when I look at these to not just look at the bridges right to make you know because all the layers had at least fairly solid bridges but the uh, the other thing I want to really look at when I look at these prints is the overhangs like 
comparing the lines of the overhangs and you'll find that the Z seam or, or the seam where layers would change going up is really much more evident on the back of the print um, where you can see right on the overhangs leading up to the bridges, let me, there we go, that things are either rough or smooth, etc. And I often find that I can distinguish between the temperature levels better by looking at this than I do just at the bridges. And for me, the second from the top, and I think you can see it pretty clearly here in the video, the second from the top is definitely the best one on this print uh, as far as how it looks. Um, so I am going to call the best, uh, or at least the optimum temperature for this matte blue, everyone matte blue PLA to be 215 uh, degrees, and that's what I'm going to use. So. That's the way you go about calibrating your filament. So even though you're calibrating, you're doing temperature tuning, you're really doing temperature tuning for your filament as much as you are for anything else. Um, the, uh, and then when I change filament, I'll print another one of these uh, all around those temperatures just to ensure that I'm using the optimum temperature for that particular filament. That's it for temperature tuning. Uh, again, like retraction tuning, these are not things that you enter in your firmware. So we don't have to go into Pronterface. We don't have to enter anything on the LCD. Uh, once we have these, these, these uh, variables, we just enter them in our slicer. Whether you're using Cura or Simplify 3D or whatever it happens to be, you now have uh, for this particular filament, 215 degrees is your printing temperature. And you might want to use a higher temperature for your first layer just to get good adhesion. I probably will go with something like 225 for the first layer, 215 for the rest of the model uh, going forward for this. Um, that, uh, that takes us up to acceleration and acceleration tuning, which is our next uh, topic for the next video. Um, and acceleration tuning is going to be uh, about um, not just acceler or not just acceleration, but also jerk or junction deviation. So that will be the next video when we determine our best uh, jerk and jun junction deviation for um, for this particular printer. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I'll see you for the next video.